Hey everyone, Paul Castellano here. I got a question for you. Do you think it's possible to catch a smallmouth bass on a jerk bait in water temperatures that are 39 degrees? And my goal today is to catch one smallmouth bass on a jerk bait in water temperatures below 40 degrees. Is it possible? I don't know, let's find out. Okay, this is, this is the kind of stuff you're looking for right here. You know, you broke 40 degrees here. Main channel, 38, 39. This is out of the wind. You know, if the wind's blowing from the south, be, it should be totally protected. So things like that that have sun on them, um, that's usually when, when we get our first, you know, our first chance at those early season smallmouth. And try to find the warmest water you can that has direct sun on it, especially at the last part of the day. So I always carry a variety with me. These are um, Machini Lure Works, Erie 115s, so they're the deeper divers. And then I've just got a whole bunch of stuff here, different Rapalas, and I've got some uh, Lucky Craft, and you know, just different things in here. And then I've got a smaller version, Erie 95 shallow model. So just having a variety of jerk baits is always a good idea. Different styles, different brands, um, whatever you have, really. Most important, I find, is to have ones that cover the proper depth, so. Straight fluorocarbon is what we're running today. And for rods and reels, I like to keep it simple. You know, I keep my jerk bait rods six and a half to six nine, six ten in length. And it's really important that you have a soft tip. So it doesn't matter if it's spinning or bait casting. I actually have both. I have um, what do I have here? I have this is a six ten uh, jerk bait rod, and this one here is six six. And then I have a spinning rod here. And all these rods have straight fluorocarbon on them. Uh, I've got one with 10 pound and this one here has 14 pound and this guy here has 16 pounds. So that just gives me um, different options. Um, sometimes the lighter line gets a bait down deeper. Sometimes it just gives the bait a different action. I also have on the spinning rod a smaller shallow diver and on the 14 pound I have that, that deep diver here, uh, this deeper diver in this color. Um, and then also I've got another um, larger jerk bait in the shallow size so I'm ready to go I've got three rods rigged you know you can just use one rod and use a snap and uh, quickly change from smallmouth today is what we're talking about early season the first transition when they move out of their wintering areas they come up that jerk bait leaving it and what I mean by leaving it is you know you make your long cast twitch it you don't necessarily have to reel it in just work the slack, leave it there. And as the wind pushes you, or as the current's pushing you, that bait is covering ground. So if you're drifting at point eight, that bait's moving at point eight. If you're drifting at two miles an hour, it's moving at two miles an hour. So it's kind of opposite of what you do with a stick bait usually. A lot of times you throw it out there and you know, you'll know you twitch it and reel it in, twitch it and reel it in. And you can do that now, there's nothing wrong with that. But you know, most of the fish I catch early seasons, a lot of times I'm letting that bait hang there as long as possible. So. Okay, so we, we bounced around that other area for a while. No fish, no fish. I've got an area here that's got just more boulders. It's got a little bit more current on it. I'm gonna, gonna up my jerk bait size here just cause I'm dealing with a little bit more wind and I'm fishing in that anywhere from six to 12 foot of water zone. So I just went to the larger bait, not so much cause the fish are feeding on it, but more for control. Running straight 14 pound fluorocarbon, bigger jerk bait. And I went to the bait caster here. So we're gonna work this area for the next you know hour or so fact that we've had that sun beaten down on the water all day you know I, I still think there's a good good opportunity for us to connect with uh, connect with some smallmouth on, on this area you know I'm gonna get it down there I'm sure you guys can see it and I'm gonna give it you know a twitch and long pause little twitches on slack so I'm gonna make the line go tight drop it back kind of pop that rod till it feels the tension of the lure so you want to you want to kind of leave it there like I said if you can the longer you can you know the longer you can leave that bait there especially when the water is cold a lot of times that's the difference you know you'll you'll want to overwork it but you just don't get the same amount of fish chasing because they're just not they're just not in that mode yet so one thing let it soak for long periods of time, long pauses. You know, give it a little bit of slack when you pop it. Okay, so I'm just gonna do a quick swap. Before I change actual locations, I wanna go, go back to this. This is a shallow model. 
you know, and it's getting down. It did make contact a couple times um, with some of the boulders, but I want to go back through. There was something that's just the same size bait, but this is a deeper diver. And let's just try to work the outside edges of those boulders. So before I leave, you know, I'm going to give it just a different look and try keeping this bait down, hanging at that little bit, a little bit deeper, the next level. So before you leave, you know, it's always good an area before you leave an area it's always good to change up your presentation give them a different look try a different color you know things like that can a lot of times make the difference between you know getting a few fish and putting together a really strong pattern so paying attention to the details let's see if it makes a difference and we're going to hit it from a different angle too but the next move is just uh, go back to that same area stay out just a bit and run something that goes down just a bit deeper That's it, that's it right there, that long pause. That's the stuff we're talking about. So this is it right here. I think this is our first smallmouth of 2020, right here. Went to the deeper jerk bait. Good to have a few selections on the deck. Man, that's it, it's been a long winter. Oh yeah, here we go. That's it right there. First smallmouth of 2020. Switched up to the deeper diver, just pulled off the boulders we marked. Amazing. So the water temperature is 39.8. Do you realize it is April 1st, 2020? Right there, first smallmouth of the year. Amazing. Whoa! <laughs> so good. Okay, so what I did is I went around and I marked all these individual, just what I found, these little high spots. They had boulders all around them. And you can see there's like the main river channel here. And this comes right up and there's current coming through here. And I want to show you what they look like. Right here, that's what I'm fishing. These isolated boulder patches like that. So what you want to do is just move your cursor right on top of it. Boom, go to your mark, drop a waypoint on it. It's going to double it over, transfer it over to my map. Or if you don't have two screens, that's fine. It's going to, it's going to record it right on your map in here. Hit your exit button and then go back. So now I know. Now I know exactly where this boulder patch is. You know, you can see it was, we were right through it. it was, there's our boat, you know, it's 23 feet, 47 feet, 71 feet. So I know where it is roughly as I approach it with my mapping. So you can see the rocks like this on these flats near the deep water. That's what's holding the heat. So if you have side imaging, there's another one there. These isolated piles like that, they do two things. They're blocking current and they hold heat. So mark those go back go upstream or upwind of them make long cast and try to leave your bait in that zone as long as possible around these spots around these boulder packs. okay we got one we got another one so a little bit better fish same deal guys so we went to the deeper jerk bait it is the last part of the day so just like we talked about right so we, the plan was get out here late take advantage of the sun that's been on the water all day 39.8 degrees got a better fish not a giant. Hopefully it doesn't come off. Look at the handle, look at the handle. Oh yeah, so that's it right there. Second smallmouth. Early season, April 1st, throwing stick baits. Fish them slow. Again, same, exact same. You know, the wind is pushing us across the spot. The current's pushing us across the spot. And I made one cast and let it just kind of soak the entire time. And as it's soaking, you know, I give it the odd twitch on slack line. You know, slack line twitch, slack line twitch. And just leave it there. That fish actually, that fish actually popped. Popped slack in the line. And uh, that's it. Second smallmouth. All right. That is amazing. Amazing. Okay. Okay, we just hooked up. Water temperature is 39 degrees. We are hooked up on a jerk bait. Our goal is complete. Oh. Ha ha, there it is. 39 degree water temperature. Smallmouth bass on a jerk bait. That's really cool. 
So it can be done. You know, you don't have to wait for warmer water temperatures to catch smallmouth on jerk baits. Leave it there as long as you can. Long pauses. We're fishing isolated boulder patches and we're actually just looking for smallmouth that are relating to those boulders. So right now these fish are just pulling up from their wintering areas. Temperature's just slightly warmer. So, you know, if you don't have a lot of confidence using if you don't have a lot of confidence using jerk baits early season cold water temperature there you go the goal is completed we caught a smallmouth bass in water temperature below 40 degrees oh yeah this might be the one it's a better fish for sure Oh, 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 he's gone! Dang, lost him. Lost him. That's okay. Got a scale on that guy. Check it out right there. You can see on the hook. So, like, sometimes they come up and just slash at the bait, too. But that was a pretty decent fish. That fish was, uh, you know, a little bit better than, <clears throat> than the other three that we caught. So, pretty cool. The whole point with this was to see if the sun would make a difference. You know, in this early season, it's been sunny all day. You know, we tried an area that was out of the wind. And I still think that was a good area. I don't think you could give up that quickly on it, but we had to adjust. The difference with this spot from the other spot is this has deep water right there, and this has these isolated boulder patches. I do think that you can catch fish a lot earlier than you realize, especially if you slow down. And you gotta watch the weather because smallmouth will be in an area, you know, this time of year, one day. You know, if the wind changes and it's overcast for three days, they're gone. But one spot, is really hot today and then the next day it's ice cold so take advantage of the sunny days look for objects like boulders shallow water that that heat up quickly you know, the goal was to catch one smallmouth on a jerk bait in water temperatures under 40 degrees and we did it i'm going to put all the products that i used in the description below and if you did enjoy watching this please consider subscribing to my channel i'm paul castellano thank you so much for watching and until next time